Hello you guys, welcome back to my channel. We are on vacation for four days. Four and a half days or whatever, four days, okay? Two of the days that we're used to travel. Today, we're going to Florida. The room is a mess. I'm already dressed. I'm wearing this. These jeans are everything. We're getting Mia ready in the back. This is her outfit. We're in Miami in the airport. Lost in the sauce. Lost in the sauce. Mia. Honey. Did you know when you gotta do that stuff? Yesterday was a full day. Today is a full day. Tomorrow we're going back home. And um, yesterday was really good. Yesterday we went to the beach. We were matching bathing suits. I'm gonna show you guys that. And you know, went to the Tuki, say hi. Tukes, this is your first vacation, Bobby. Say hi, girl. We had her load of glasses on, but now she's, <laughs> I think she's over it. Wait. <laughs> so cute. <laughs> the hater blockers. <laughs> That's so cute. <laughs> Honey bear. You look so cute, girl. <laughs> We're walking on this strip. So much going on. We didn't go to the beach in New York, so now we're in Florida on vacation and we're at the beach. <laughs> I have not gone in the water. We rented this little umbrella and I'm just sitting down. We have the stroller and everything. Matching pajamas, matching swimsuits the beach and it was absolutely great however I'm now realizing that Mia did really good on her first flight right I'm in the bathroom because this is the better lighting she I fed her in the morning and then we left because her flight was early it was 11 a.m. so when I got home from work we just started getting ourselves together and heading straight to the airport because everything was already packed prior to and um, I fed her before I left. She just woke up. And then um, when we were about to take off, I breastfed her because they said that it's good for like the air popping with the babies. And I can say that I didn't have any experience of her crying or anything. So maybe that did work. And then um, when it was about 20 minutes before landing, she woke up and she did really good. Um, then still I had a bottle ready and I was giving that to her. So that was great. Yesterday I went to the beach and the beach was amazing. But then I realized that yesterday she was having like build up like um mucus in the inner corner of her eye so i'm like oh my god what is this so i don't know if it is the air condition on the plane the first night we stayed at a jank hotel and typically i'm really good at reading reviews but that was i didn't read the reviews and it was not great the room is so so cute exactly what i pictured online And I didn't read the reviews for more than one reasons. And I'm so irritated because typically I'm a review girl through and through. I will read the reviews. The one takeaway though is that that um, hotel was really close to the airport. Like literally right outside of the airport. And that is one of the reasons why I chose that one. But it was not great. Like the first, it was just the ghetto. And I say that a lot of times and sometimes I'd be joking. But that was the entire ghetto and its counterparts gangbang and drug dealing the ghetto we couldn't stay there another night so while we checked in we checked in we checked in at three and it seemed fun and everything but like when we went back there 
from her dad's parents' house at like 12 a.m. It was crazy. So I'm like, mm -mm, we can't spend another night here. So while we're in there like getting ourselves together, I was looking for another place to stay. So now we have this place and it's like uh, an apartment suite. Right now we're in the bathroom. I'm gonna show you guys a quick little overview. I'm making some milk for me and everything. Oh my God, my skin looks good. Because yesterday when we came, Mia was so very cranky. I was not thinking about recording and showing you guys how the place look and this and that and whatever. No, I was trying to get in, get her cleaned up for the evening, give her a nice warm bottle and put her down. So now I'm gonna show you guys. So we've been living in it, so just understand that. So this is the front door. When you first walk in, you have to sort of stand. There's nothing in it. I love this. I don't know that I get that, but I love that. And we have obviously the little kitchen area, and that's a full kitchen, full stove and everything. I'm. I just made her a bottle. See the little pot on the stove and everything. Her stroller, obviously, we took that with us. We have a little coffee table and a little couch, a little desk that you can do work on, and this little TV area. A lot of closet space. If we were staying longer, this would have been ideal. This is a closet. Closet. This is the bathroom. Really cute, you know. The mirror on the wall, the sink, you know, we've been living in it. Toilet, shower, whatever. And this is the bedroom right here. She's currently. Really cute really cute so that is the situation we do check out today i just called earlier about a later checkout because typically checkout is like at 11 and i'm like i have the baby and whatever so called about a late checkout and they said they'll give me until 12. so i'm telling you guys about her eyes her last night so i came last night cleaned her up and everything cleaned her eye off because it was like um building up mucus in the inner corner hair and last night she went to sleep and she slept for about four hours and when i tell you she woke up and the eye was swollen i'm gonna insert a picture and show you guys i was freaking out so you know one of my friends and i were on the phone and my friend was saying to me to just clean it off with uh i saw a cold compress online but my friend said clean it off with like a warm rag or whatever but she didn't really like that it was warm and i guess it because it's swollen and just feels funny on her eye but i cleaned it up and everything and the swelling went away she was up for an hour or two and the swelling went away but right now that she went to sleep it's a little bit swollen again i'm gonna clean it up i'm gonna get us ready for the day and i think we're gonna head to a minute clinic i was looking for pediatricians within my healthcare network but they're all so so far so we're gonna go to a cvs minute clinic because i feel like this could be something very minor when i'm researching it online my alarm is going off to take my birth control i really need to catch you guys up so yeah, I'm, I'm going to take her to like a little CVS minute clinic and see what we can do about her eye. But I'm trying to get everything ready for checkout, clean her up, clean myself up and everything. The bag's already packed because I did that last night. I went through and like repacked everything because today's our last full day here. And all we really need out of the bag is outfits. And then um, tomorrow morning early, we're going to be leaving. We're spending tonight at his parents' house. And then tomorrow we are going to leave. So yeah, that's where we're at. I don't think I came in and said that I got an IUD. I think I have footage for like the last couple of weeks. I need to figure out how to get that all together and give you guys one vlog of like the last couple of weeks because I've not picked up the camera. However, because I've been so consistent over time, I always have footage that you guys can watch. So y'all probably won't ever notice that I'm missing. Probably. But I need to work on that today. So when we go to his parents' house, I'm going to try doing some work on my computer and stuff like that today. But yeah, that is literally where we're at. We're here in Miami. I wanted to go to the beach today, but with me as I, the way it is, I don't know that I want to do that because I don't know if it's that something went in her eye yesterday when we were at the beach and just outside. I don't know what it is, and I'm not risking getting my baby sick just to go lay on the damn beach because we already did that yesterday. So, I don't know. Oh, yeah, such a bummer. But we're gonna go to the mini clinic and hopefully she could give us something if she gives me something and lets me know this is a nurse practitioner there and lets me know that she's perfectly fine and it's just a fluke then okay but i don't like how her eye looks but we're gonna you know get situated for the morning or whatever and i'll see you guys at some point hi y'all back again looking a lot better than i did before the air is directly behind you guys so i'm hoping and praying that you guys can hear 
but I'm basically ready to go and I'm wearing this little dress. Love it. I bought this from Shein quite some time ago and I never ended up wearing it. So I'm very excited that I get to wear it now. I, like I mentioned before, I think we're gonna take the baby to a CVS Minute Clinic. We have a few things in the fridge that we need to clean out. Um, I'm waiting for her dad, literally. Everything is already packed and ready to go. I'm about to zip up the suitcase, because she is. She's currently in her stroller. Her eye looks a little bit better, but honestly, I don't really know. Everything is already packed up. Just toothbrush. Um, oh, let me show you guys that she dressed better. <laughs> Hello, body. I feel really good about my body in this. I'm wearing this little Nike Pro leggings underneath it mainly because we might be walking around and if we will be, then my thighs are gonna be gashing. So, so cute. Honestly, I think I need this in different colors. Honestly. Because by the time the next summer rolls around, Mia is going to be a year old and I'm definitely going to be outside with her doing things, going places. But I feel really good in my body in this, but also black makes you look more slim, so my stomach looks smaller. But yeah, that's what we're wearing. Here's my suitcase, already packed up and everything. Here's my little bag. Right now, in my pocketbook, I have what she's going to wear tonight because we're sleeping at her grandma's tonight, what she's going to wear tonight. Um, to bed and what she's gonna wear tomorrow to the airport because right now she's already dressed obviously but her baby bag is easily accessible I have my scarf my outfit that I'm gonna wear home is on the corner here I'm gonna wear these shoes today because I have those Gucci um, slides and they're not the most comfortable um, my big toe and the other toe a part of this strap is just rubbing against the other toe and it's so uncomfortable but yeah because I wore it yesterday and it's just not comfortable for walking we're walking all along Miami Beach and it just was not the greatest. I washed her little onesies and basically her little things that she's worn so far and I had it by the heater drying while we wait for her dad to come. But, um, a little part of it still feels cold so we're gonna put it out one last time while we wait for dad. Uh -huh. but for the most part everything is red and tight and basically ready to go look at the little ghetto set up listen i'm never going to sugarcoat the version of things that i show you guys because i'm living real life in real time so it's always going to be exactly what things are i have my coat on the top of here too because tomorrow when we get to the airport our airport after checking in i'm gonna take my coat out because i'm gonna need that because new york is cold so yeah i'm gonna put these shoes on right now so that we're literally ready to go and these shoes are a little hard to put on even though i find that i don't remember that you have to take your shoes off at the airport because had i remembered that i never would have worn these ones but i find that now that i'm not pregnant it's a little bit easier <laughs> because i can actually bend so yeah so we're gonna we're gonna close this up right now Everything's already in there and basically ready to go. You know what, my pajamas that I'm gonna wear to sleep tonight are somewhere in here. I need to put that on the top as well. Okay, so that's on the top, I'm gonna wear that tonight. Everything else is good and ready to go. I'm gonna put her formula in my pocketbook. You know what? Let's put the pajamas in here too. AirPod. I cannot believe that I've successfully packed four. I mean, I wouldn't really. The only way I would need a checked bag is if I was packing for Mia and myself in the same bag. Because this is a short trip. I'm glad. The check bag situation stressed me out at the airport because her dad. I think I showed y'all on here that I got him a set of suitcases for either Christmas or his birthday. I can't remember which one it was. Maybe it was Christmas. And um, I got him that, and there are three pieces. So you have the small one that is the carry on. Then you have this medium one right here. He packed the medium one, and so 
when we put them both together, you know, at the airport, you have to put it in a thing. His was too tall, so he had to check it. Look, barely. So he had to, and I'm pretty sure if the wheels were off, it would have been fine. They're ridiculous, but like, whatever. Their rules are their rules. Um, so we couldn't use that one. But also, in addition to um, having to check that bag, this ugly bag that I have, my mom brought it here and left it here. And um, she's borrowed the suitcases that I had before because I had an entire set too. And she borrowed it one time when she traveled. I lent it to her. And of course, she went to Jamaica, didn't bring it back, yada, 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 all types of stuff. And she brought that ugly one and she left it last time. So I ordered a uh, carry on on Amazon the day before because I think leading up to, up until the day before, I didn't realize that we weren't checking a bag or anything because that's what we had spoken about. So I was planning to do a check bag. It's so hot. I'm cooling my face down with this rag. Mimi, you need to cool your face down, honey. Oh, it's cold. But um, yeah, so I ordered the suitcase the day before. You know, Amazon has that next day delivery type situation. So I'm like, okay, I'm gonna get it by the next day. Okay, great. Only to find out that it said it's shipped and everything, but like late in the day, it's not saying that it's out for delivery. And I'm like, this bag is not gonna come today because typically when they do this, it does not come that day. It ends up coming the next day. And we left like early the morning, the next morning. So I knew that like I wouldn't have been able to take that. Thank God mommy had this ugly one because I would have had to just check a bag. And that just be what it is because I didn't have one. And of course, I didn't have time to go. What is that? Damn, somebody's out there working. I didn't have time to go to the store and just buy a random carry-on. But that one is cute. And it also goes with the um, one checked bag that I already have. So I said, I'm going to just keep it there. But I'm going to call Amazon. And I'm going to complain because I feel like as a Prime member, okay? If I pay for next day delivery, I should get next day delivery. And if I don't, I should be compensated y'all said it was going to be delivered the next day and i bought it on the basis of you telling me that it could be delivered the next day and in the event that that changes i need to be compensated because that's the only reason why i bought it and so i'm gonna give jeff a call let's bowl some water for her and i'm taking it with me so i can make her formula while we're on the way i have this bottle warming sleeve that i had bought on amazon i gotta see if i can find it to show it to you guys Please make it be on the top. I have this bottle warming sleeve for Mia, so I'm going to pop the bottle of hot water. Where did I put that? <laughs> pop the bottle of hot water in there, and that's gonna keep it warm throughout the day. But I'm pretty sure that the water is not gonna get too cold because this is Miami and it's hot outside. I think Miami is absolutely great, and I absolutely think that we should come here again. And the next time, proper planning, like a better hotel experience where we weren't in the ghetto. Literally. <laughs> Not even seeing that to me. We were in the ghetto. We were in the trenches of Miami. I know it wasn't a lot of Haiti, but I feel like it's other trenches too. <laughs> Bad. <laughs> she pooped. So I'm going to change her really quickly and everything and hope that her dad comes in the next 29 minutes because checkout is at 11. I did ask for late checkout and they did grant me that until 12 but still like I want to be up and out of here I'm starving I didn't eat anything all morning so you know we need to go and honestly wherever I am I could just get a cup of hot water because yesterday we went to a restaurant and I just asked him for a cup of hot water and then I just used that to make her something on the go while we were already outside so that part of it's kind of easy too but I'm gonna change her diaper right now everything is packed up in this bag I'm gonna change her diaper and then um, we're basically gonna be ready to leave. So yeah, yeah, basically. We're gonna pack this in here because she's not hungry right now. So I'm not gonna make another bottle. Just pack this in this side here. I probably need a Ziploc bag for that so it doesn't spill. And I brought a whole can of formula and that's enough to last for the four days. Thank what? Bye. All right guys, I'll see you guys later or so.